I'm going to give everybody an update. So, and I know a few of you were out here when I came out here the first time. Let me, I want to be very clear. In my position, I cannot take sides. Everyone, everyone follow me, right? The initial information that was given to us is that the management here was putting people up. Typically, and, and I want it to stop me if I get off track. Typically, we as the Cap Police Department cannot get involved with that civil aspect however this is a different kind of scenario because you have a lot of different elements going about okay you have a COVID pandemic you have an executive order issued by the government so what I did I notified my chain of command I started reaching out to people who are experts in the field of this the marshal office so I got a hold of their lieutenant they got Chief Taylor and they agreed that we have an issue Thank you so that is out of the ordinary. We didn't just say, hey, we're going down to the city eviction. So what they did, thankfully, they put it on a judge's shoulder, Judge Pope. The biggest thing is, is does this fall under the same executive order that the governor has enacted? Judge Pope said no. Don't be mad at me. Alright? So, no, no. Yes, yes. So here is what my position is between the community and the staff. The one cannot allow the personal field to get on But I do see a need for the reasonableness because there is folks out there that have property in the building. So I met with security. I can't influence them. You follow what I'm saying? Everyone understands my, my position. I can't influence them. Right. So at that time, the security made a decision as an agent for the property. You know what? I can see this is kind of sensitive. I empathize with it. So what we are going to do as an establishment for the folks that still, this is what I'm told, right? Not anything I'm making. I don't have the authority for it. What they said they were going to do is keep that core property number and allow them to go back. Great, that's great. 